The Bistai Beast, a Tyrannosaurus found in the Bistai Badlands in 1997. Then, a Pentaceratops was found in the Bistai Badlands in the year 2011. I'm Ben. I'm Julie. And we're also found in the Bistai Badlands. At least for the next 24 hours. While we hunt, hunt for uh, fossils! <laughs> So, we are here at the Museum of Natural History and Science in Albuquerque to hopefully talk to some, I don't know, specialists or professionals on the uh, wilderness area as well as fossils. Go to the Bistai. It has so much to offer. It's a beautiful landscape. You get just some incredible, just absolutely incredible features out there. It's, it's so there. unique. There's not much for vegetation, and so nothing's in the way of um, exploring the rock formations, the desert flyers, hoodoos, petrified logs. The erosion rate out there is so great that we send people out just about every single year and what do they do? They go out there, walk the area looking for fossils. As soon as winter is over, you've had this whole thaw, people haven't been out for a while, that's when you're gonna see stuff. You might find something important, you never know. Today, we dig. Actually, we're really only allowed to look. See that barb? That's to keep the dinosaurs in. The Vistai Wilderness area is made up of 60 square miles, which means we have 45,000 acres to find a dinosaur. And we pack pretty light today because it's a wilderness area and we can't actually dig for fossils. So we have brought our paintbrushes and a little air puffer. We brought our measuring tape. We also brought a little notebook for all our field notes so we can jot down the location and kind of the look and feel of the fossils. You need notes. And we also brought inspiration. This is our Bistai Beast inspiration, and then this is our Pentaceratops. They're not the real things. These are from Jurassic Park, but they kind of look like it. Now, the main sediment that's in the Vistai Badlands is sandstone. Now, when wind and water and other natural forces kind of erode and carve away at the sandstone, it forms these pinnacle-shaped spire formations, and they call those hoodoos. We're looking for any signs that there might be a bone or a fossil in the hillside. And you'll see evidence of that by these little cookie crumb, cookie crumb, a cookie a cookie crumb trail of broken up bones and bits and stuff. You wanna look for anything that has a different color, shape, or texture from the normal sediment of the area. For example, like this color is pretty bright. It stands out a little bit. It might be a piece of petrified wood, which is also really common. Now, if it sticks to my tongue, it's bone. Bones are porous, and so when you lick it and stick it to your tongue, the saliva on your tongue fills those pores, and it's almost like a suction cup. So you'll see, if we find one, it'll be pretty stuck. We're also going to be observing the surfaces of some large rock to see if we can find any imprints of like a shell or a plant or an insect. Nothing. But that's enough facts. Let's try to find some fossils. <laughs> Do I look like I'm a paleontologist? Your eyes are like a bug. Do I look like a toddler who had his mom dress him? Because I feel like it. I should have got one of those like helicopter pillar hats. Okay, let's go find fossils. See how the water is bringing everything down? If there was a fossil up top, there'd be little pieces of evidence down the hillside. Stone. I'm going in. Dogs, quit ruining my shot. Human fossils of the trash origin. Sometimes you gotta get deep in the crevices. Come, join me. Well, I feel like I keep seeing this. You get excited and you see it, and then it's just like, oh, that's a piece of wood. Seen anything? Got some. This must have fallen or somebody kicked it or something. Ready? I guess 
it could be a small stick that still got fossilized. It could be petrified wood. Huh? Is it sticking? Huh? Oh, yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That could be a little fish bone that settled down to the bottom of the river and it got stuck yeah, in the can sediment. Yeah, you see in there. It's porous. It's small, but yeah. it's our first fossil find. So it's two and three quarter. We'll call it fish bone in rock. <laughs> what time is it? 10.30 already. 10.30 a.m. That's kind of cool. You can see all the layers. Hey, Julie. What? I think I got something. I got fossil. No. Yeah. What you got? See how it's coming out over here? It's all up in here too. Whoa! Yeah. You got it. That's bone. Wicked. Turtle shell. It's or big. I mean, it definitely. Gator. <laughs> Look at the texture on it. That's like 11 inches. Turtle or alligator or something. I kind of want to follow this little riverbed like into the hillside and see if we can find anything. All right, I'm going to keep going. Dun, 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 dun. You know, it's kind of like puzzling or something, you know, where you're searching for the perfect piece and you'll just like sit forever being very quiet. It's almost addicting, like fishing too. If you get a little hint of something, like a nibble, you'll keep going and going in hopes that you'll get another nibble and a catch. What? We're getting stuff way too quick. What do you got? That looks like bone there. Yeah. This looks like bone here. Oh, yeah. And then oh. also this guy, which is a bigger piece. Whoa, yeah, that's definitely bone. <laughs> there might be something washing down from up top. All right, I'm going to go up. Ooh, it's windy. Look, 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 look. Stay, look, look. stay. This is what's washing down. All these little tiny bone fragments. They're going down the hillside. You can see them. And they're all coming from this. That is a this big is a bone. bone. This is a bone. It's really fractured, right? It's not yeah. in great condition. It's definitely getting eroded. But if it's in the hill, it might be okay in here. Yeah. It might be in there. That's a bone. That's a fossil. That is a real fossil. Crazy. So that one is here. That bone is here. And it's washing down behind me this way. But we also see that there's a big pile right here and there's more up here. So there's got to be a second bone or there's a whole animal in this area and its bones are coming up. I don't know if what we're finding is anything. We won't know until we take our findings to somebody at the museum. But I don't know. It gives you like a little adrenaline boost. Like, oh man, there's something here. I just feel like I'm licking everything. That's a perfect cubby for you. This looks like the set of a Star Wars movie, if it was like a miniature. You know? Oh, yeah. I have a lot of others. I think I found another one. Right in here. This is like a full one. A fossil? Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Uh... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it went. I thought maybe we found a fossil, um, but it's just petrified wood. All right, I think I found some stuff. Ugh. It's thickened. Uh -huh. That looks like a big piece. Yeah. Like it's in here. So even this is bone, which is wild, because it doesn't look like it, you know? Whoa. Yeah. I hope there's no like rocks out here that also do that and we're gonna be totally wrong this whole time. There's some over there, there's some over here, some over here, some over there. So it must all be washing either from up here or from somewhere up here. 
and we searched the whole area and we basically can't find any after like right there. We got a windstorm. It's pretty bad out there. Good thing we have our desert gear. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Wow! A sand white out. It's like a brown out. <laughs> They're supposed to look like cracked eggs. Behold. Oh yeah, it kind of does. Brussels sprouts. Is it bone or petrified wood? Petrified wood. Let's see now. Woo! thoughts on today that was tough i honestly think the coolest part was like in the beginning and it was us going way off the trail like way far away from where the trail wanted us to go and uh -huh. wandering on our own i think just looking for fossils we got to see more things than people who are here to follow the trail but the wind was exhausting. Like I think I feel like I have tinnitus in my ears now for the rest of the day. Yeah, your it's nose so is loud. My raw. nose is raw. My the lips are there, chapped. Your eyes. My eyes. Yeah, there. Oh, look at sorry. That. I was looking the wrong way. I look like a grease ball, don't I? Look at my my. See the dirt and my. What are these? Yeah, your I don't know cuticles. <laughs> I have it in my ears. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, gross. Yeah. yeah. Nobody else was out there once that sandstorm hit. And then we walked back and a guy stopped us and he's like, you guys were out here the whole time. You guys are crazy. You're tough. But I think we struck gold at the very beginning of the day. Mm -hmm. It was the best thing we found. And I don't know what it is. You know, part of me is like a little afraid it's just going to be a horse or something. <laughs> like, I don't want to get my hopes up and think it's a dinosaur. Sorry to be chewing while we talk. I mean, we're, we're kind of... Starving. Very, very hungry. So he hungry. He's hungry. Boom. So it turns out fossils can be hard to find, but they're important for a lot of reasons. We got a two and a half hour ride all the way back to Albuquerque. They tell us how landscapes, climates, organisms, and ultimately how life itself has changed over time. How things respond to those changes, whether it's through struggle and failure or adaptation and survival. That actually looks like a good branch. Bummer. <laughs> and I think that process of struggling and failing and adapting is really relevant to everybody. That's turtle? That's a okay. soft shell turtle. Okay. But especially us, right now, we're currently in the process of changing everything. This is a modern one, but the texturing is exactly the same. That's cool. That's a turtle. <laughs> After a year and a half of work, we finally left home, completely changed our channel's content and name and our entire way of living just in the hopes of surviving. Oh, yeah. We're with oh, it. Crocodile. That's crocodile. Is that's it? Crocodile? That's crocodile bone. Croc yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. exactly it. That's crocodile. Ah. And maybe not everyone has seen that process or change because we're like fossils hidden away in the desert of YouTube waiting to be discovered. And we found... Oh my, that's a big bone. Wow. Yeah, you, you may have found a dinosaur there. That's a limb bone. So we had a twig, a turtle, yeah, a crocodile, a crocodile, a crocodile. A and then an unknown turtle. limb. Well, it looks like Maybe. we might have had some dinosaur, especially that one that looked like the, the bigger pieces. The bigger pieces. Yeah. yeah. So right. we did find something. Yes. Yeah. You did. You yes. did. Yeah. <laughs> so I suppose, until then, we're just going to keep adapting and surviving. 
And on that note, we just wanted to give a huge thank you to all of our supporters who have helped keep us going. Our Patreon members and even one-time donors have put fuel in the tank and food in the dog bowls. And a quick special thanks to Mr. Brian Churchill for that $100 donation. That actually got us a week's worth of groceries. We ended up making some shrimp alfredo uh, and some Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. And we still have plenty of leftovers, so thank you. Thanks. And that's it. We are wrapping up in New Mexico and headed over to Arizona. Hopefully. So if anybody out there has any good ideas for where to go or adventures that we can go on, just let us know now. Send it our way. Suggestions. We're open. All right. Bye. Bye. Whoa. Holy cow. That's one neck vertebra from a T-Rex. The story <laughs> behind this one is it was collected illegally. It wound up sitting for a long time as part of the FBI collection, I guess, of materials that were used as evidence against this person who had collected them illegally. And they asked the, me if we wanted it for our education department collection. And I said, why, of course, because, <laughs> because who would turn that down? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it's the, one of the few T-Rexes where you can actually hand it to somebody and let them touch it and say, I actually touched a T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Almost the same size. <laughs> <laughs>